Hello and welcome to Cloud Perspective channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can automatically create AWS network diagram using AWS Perspective. So what is AWS Perspective? Basically it is a you know cloud formation template which you can import and it allows you to automatically discover AWS resources for a particular account or multiple accounts and it can create you know this network map network diagram automatically so i'll walk you through the aws console and uh, we'll show you what all things need to be done in order to configure it so you can follow me along with this demo so i am in uh, aws cloud formation okay i'll create a stack with the template okay click on next and it will ask you for some parameters first the stack name so cloud perceptive okay stack you can name it like this along with the admin parameters where where we are gonna put in the email address okay I will explain you why the why we need this email address basically when you create this stack you would be receiving a, an email okay with the temporary login and password that you can use to login into the web ui rest you can keep all the parameters as default uh, it also uses a neptune uh, database in order to create graphs okay so we can keep it as a medium probably just to avoid incurring cost okay now click on next rest all of the option you can keep it as a default click next okay we'll uh, keep the stack failure option as default we want to roll back if the stack resource is uh, failing any of these and the advanced options also keep the default click on next it will ask you to verify the uh, you know confirm all the parameters it looks good then you can accept this uh, acknowledge all this uh, uh, checkboxes and click on create stack it will take around you know 20 30 minutes to create since i've already created i won't be recreating it again but this is how the stack look like so in the description you can see this what is what this stock is, stack is for okay this is for api gateway stack and you want to click and see what all resources are created then you can come to know okay so once your stack is created you will need a url okay but before that i will show you what was the purpose of that email address i'll show you that email what we received yeah so this is the email that we receive as soon as you create this stack this is a temporary username and password okay so username remains the same but if you log in for the first time you will uh, have to change the password and re-login it back. So this is for the web UI. Now I'll explain you how you can get the access for that URL. So basically from the CloudFront, you will be able to get the access. Let's log in into the CloudFront. Okay, so this is the uh, distribution. So in the description, you can see the distribution is for perspective web UI. And copy this URL and log in with the password and username that you have received in the email. If you log in for the first time, it will ask you to change. And uh, after that, after you configure it, you need to specify what AWS account you want to scan, want to discover and create a network map. And apart from that, it will also ask you for uh, for uh, executing some of the cloud formation templates for creating roles in that uh, particular account so that you rules are mandatory for this cloud perspective to you know discover the aws resources from your account so once that is done i will show you how your network map looks like all right so this is the final output we get okay you will see all the resources over here the cost and usage architecture diagrams you can save and 
you will be able to manage if you have any filters you can do that so these are the resources i have it also see uh, shows up dynamo db tables ec2 okay if you click on ec2 you will see it over here apart from that all the details if you mouse over you will get all the details what ar and what what account id what region it is in so it becomes very easy you don't need to drag and drop resources uh okay like what you do in other visio or any other tool so this is an automated diagram so all the subnets everything it's going to show up over here vpc if i hover the vpc it's going to show every detail for that okay so this is uh, an easy way you know to create a automated network map and you can also save this map for your reference and uh, also the cost that is incurred for running i'll show you the white paper okay which explains all the details apart from that it also contains the uh, cost uh, estimated cost that can incur when you run it on a monthly or a daily basis okay okay so this is the white paper that i have used for the reference it shows all the details like you know how you can deploy this tool apart from that it also shows the cost estimation over here so if you are doing a single instance deployment okay using db r5 large the early cost is this much okay and uh or the monthly cost is going to incur you 425 usd okay this is for multiple instances deployment but uh keeping uh, cost we don't need this maps uh, you know on daily basis you can simply uh spend uh you know three four hours and then delete this stack save the network diagram so you know you won't incur much cost and it it's also very easy you don't miss any of the resources you get everything in the diagram and it's very easy to manage and you know transfer the knowledge so that's it for this session i will paste all the links for this white paper and uh, the stack links so do like and subscribe my channel do let me know in the comment section how you found this video okay thanks